All right, IndyCar drivers plus great food and entertainment all under the stars tomorrow night at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We are talking about Rev Indy. This is a chance to mix with racing legends on the Yard of Bricks and by the way, meet some celebrity chefs. And you know what? It's all for a good cause. And so I'm so excited of the three gentlemen that are here. IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe is here. We've got celebrity chefs Vic Vegas, Food Network star Malcolm Mitchell. Thank you all for, for being here. This is fantastic. All right, James, I'm going to start with you. All yeah. right, first of all, you look great. You're feeling well. <laughs> Physically, you. everything's all good, right? Yes, everything's great, 100%. Excited to get back to, uh, get back to the Speedway. Well, we're so glad that you're, you're going to be back. Thank but you. let's talk about Rev Indy. This is a, an event that's close to your heart. Talk a little bit about it. It is. I mean, you know, for me, even before last year, the, uh, the cause that we you know, support with Rev was always, you know, it's important to all the drivers and everybody that's involved with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Uh, and certainly after last year, maybe spending a little more time in the emergency medical center inside the track than I would have liked. But uh, it, it has brought me close closer to the whole IU Health Network and, and out so many incredible people there. And yeah, this, this event benefits you know, the entire network across the country, but uh, specifically the Emergency Medical Center inside the racetrack. It, I, I know it's sold out, but talk a little bit about how it works. You, you, you're partnering IndyCar drivers with celebrity chefs, right? Yeah, so every driver's got yeah. a chef, yeah. and uh, Vic and I are together for a third year running. Oh boy. And uh, <laughs> they do, they do dishes, dishes inspired by the drivers, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. so I, I want to mention some of these dishes, Vic. All <laughs> yes, right, this caramel apple pork chop. Yes, is that uh, right? Yes. Did, did I get that right? Yeah, caramel apple oh. pork chop. You You're know, killing you, me. You like caramel apples. You like pork chops. Sure. We braise the pork chop in root beer, you then we grill it. Put it all in one. We just put it all in one. <laughs> put a roasted caramel <laughs> apple on top of it. You put an interesting twist on what might be traditional fare. Yeah. Um, how can somebody do that at home? I mean, is it is it simple, or should we just? Oh, you can find leftovers. Like I, you know, I, w I went on the Rachel Ray show once, and I took the leftover lasagna, and I wrapped it inside of a tortilla and deep fried it. Oh my gosh. So it was a lasagna chimichanga, and I called it lechanga. <laughs> And Rachel Ray said, you invented a new word. I, said, I guess I did. You just Beautiful. like to be creative and get in there and mess I around, do. don't I you? I do. I like to do the things that people think about but don't do. And then when I do it, it usually starts some kind of a trend and people really go, you know what? <laughs> You got, that. And you got to take chances. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, I'm definitely trying the caramel Try apple it. pork chops. That sounds so good. <laughs> Me too. So Malcolm Mitchell. Yes. The big Food Network star, yeah. right? Finale on season eight. Yeah. And you, I, I like your, your story too. Um, because of the uh, milkshake, with oh, the toasted marshmallow, toasted marshmallow milkshake. milkshake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it's a and that one is very simple. I mean, it's just almost like doing a s'mores, but basically you roast oh. the marshmallows off, get some charred, nice, beautiful color to it. Um, the key to it is add sour cream to it and a premium ice cream. Uh. You both are breaking my heart. Yeah, really and it, it's really simple, really delicious. Little butter <laughs> I I'll give you the recipe why, for why that one. Why don't we have one sitting right here? I know. I should have. I should have. <laughs> next next year, actually, me and we're Rick, me and Vic are going to do desserts next year. So oh, we will, that, that will be that will be at Rev. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got a lot of influence from your mother, which I think is great. Absolutely. I, yeah. Absolutely. And Mother's Day weekend. Yes. So what is it that you really learned from her that that helps you now that you're catering to celebrities and sports figures and that kind of thing? Yeah. Basically. Cook it with love. I mean, obviously, when my mom was cooking, she wanted to do it. You know, it's not, it wasn't a chore for her. Um, and for me, it's just like simple ingredients. You know, I don't use like 50 million ingredients. She's with five or six things and just make some comfort food. So she was influenced on that a lot. And what does she get for Mother's Day? Um, I'm coming in, I'm flying in a little bit late, so <laughs> okay. we're going to actually go to, we're, we're going to dinner. I'm not cooking for her. We're going we're gonna to take her to dinner. Because well, she's not getting one of the milk trees. She, <laughs> I can give her one. I'll give her one. Okay, and you guys are going to have fun with go-karts, right? We don't oh, give yeah. too much away. But yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we <laughs> called him out we tomorrow called about, we're going right. for him. We're all going right. for James. Challenge is on. Well, I can't thank it. you all enough for being here. Have fun with Rev Indy. Yes. And have fun at the Speedway. It. James, thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much.